Hi, this is Kat Kerr, and I'm the author of Revealing Heaven, and I'm going to give you a revelation report today about how heaven operates. For those of you who don't know, God has been catching me up to heaven by my spirit for over 15 years, so I have a lot of information to share with you. I'm not going to take the time to try to explain why all these things happen. Uh, my job is just to share what God has shown me so that you'll know what actually exists there. One of the things that he showed me was how heaven operates. That means, what is the food made out of? How, how is, uh, uh, if there's transportation, what kind of fuel do they use for that transportation? What it's like to live in the, in the heavenly realm up there and things that you get to do and experience. What do you do yourself when you go there to live? Because it's not a boring place, trust me. Uh, I can tell you this, that there is food in heaven and a lot of people get excited when I start talking about this. No matter what you experience with food on this earth, there's no weight gain, no food allergies. You never find any gluten-free uh, stuff up there, no lactose intolerant people up there. Everything you eat is totally absorbed into your being because the food is made out of light. And that might surprise you, but you know what? The Father is light. Even your spirit itself is made out of light. That's why God says, don't hide your light, let your light shine. It says God is light. We are the light of this world. And so that really means something. There's even a reason why God said, let light be. There's a reason why he created that first. And I can tell you, even here on earth, scientists are finding out that light is almost a part of every substance that exists. It's in sound. It's in colors. It's in many of the things that are on this earth. Uh, it's part of life itself. So in heaven, it's one of the main substances that things are built out of. The clothing you wear is made out of light. The food you eat, like I said before, it looks like pizza, smells like pizza, and tastes like pizza. But let me tell you, you've never had any pizza like they have in heaven. And I was taken to a, a pizzeria. And let me tell you, the pizzas are the size of the tables, and you and all your friends sit around them, and they actually turn the table to get their slice of pizza. And the funny thing was, every slice could be different from the other one. And they all know exactly what you like, it's prepared the way you like it. And how awesome is that? I've been to a bakery in heaven where the cinnamon rolls are the size of a dinner plate. And you know, uh, I, I laugh about this sometimes because you see aromas in heaven. I tell people in heaven there's more than one dimension. Flowers look beautiful, they smell beautiful, you can touch them, but they also make music. But the food in heaven, it, 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 the aromas, you literally can see the aromas. And if you ever try to walk by one of those bakeries in heaven and think you're going to escape not going inside, you are wrong. That aroma will actually come and capture you and carry you inside the bakeries. And I can tell you, I've seen many different types of food. And this is the best news of all, especially for women. If you don't want to cook when you go home to heaven, you don't have to. You actually sit down at your table with all your friends. You say what you want. It appears on the place in front of you, cooked to perfection. You eat all you want. When you're done, it totally disappears. There's nothing to clean up. I really like that part of heaven. So don't think you're going to go up there and, and have nothing to do but sit on clouds and have angels drop grapes in your mouth. I've actually never seen that happen. There's a lot more to eat in heaven than grapes. And one of the reasons uh, that is is because there are people who have gifts as chefs, as as people who like to grow vegetables, people who like to make things um, in the restaurant business, people who like to serve. And so you get to use your gifts when you go home to heaven. I'm not talking about that thing you do for your job on earth because, you know, down here on earth, you have to make a living in order to exist. But in heaven, you exist to live. So yes, there's restaurants. Yes, there's bakeries because God allows them to use their gifts when they get home to heaven. If you're an artist, you get your mansion, you get a studio fully furnished, and then he gives you a gallery. You show your beautiful artwork and you give it away to people. Isn't that awesome? If you always wanted a horse, like I mentioned on one of my other um, reports, you probably have a hundred and everybody comes to your place to rise your amazing horses. Uh, they're never going to get sick. You're never going to have to clean them. Actually, you never have to clean yourself. That's why they call it heaven. There are shops and stores to get things because people have gifts that design fashions. They make jewelry. And uh, so all your friends and family living in heaven, they're getting things for you. So that's one of the ways heaven operates. If there's transportation, it runs on light 
or wind. And yes, there's many forms of transportation in heaven. They have things I call space buses, where a lot of people can ride on them. There's these things they call transport kiosks, where you literally step into beams of light, and seconds later, you're on, a, on the other side of heaven, you step out of one. Uh, roads of light are created because your desire to go somewhere, they come pick you up and take you there. Let me tell you, you are never going to be bored living there. And it blesses me that Father's willing to reveal himself in his home to the people of this earth. So I'm praying one day you'll live there also. I know that your family members up there are believing for the same thing. So I hope you have a wonderful day. And maybe one day I'll see you in heaven when we all go there to live with the Father. If you want more information, you can read my book, Revealing Heaven, or visit my website, revealingheaven.com.